Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be reading you a piece of potato pudding. A piece of potato pudding. David, said his mother, old Mrs. Jones is sick. I am just going to take this potato pudding for her. Look after the baby until I get back. Yes, Mama, David replied. I have left some rice cooking on the stove, said his mother. Do not let the water boil out and do not let Joy go near the stove. The two of you must sit at the door till I come back. David sat with Joy at the door. He did not like looking after Joy because she was always getting into trouble. Suddenly, David heard somebody calling him. It was his friend, Tony, at the gate. David, Tony shouted, come and look at the knife I have. I can't come, replied David. I have to stay with Joy. You bring it here. Where did you get it? I found it, said Tony. He brought the knife and showed it to David. This is the greatest knife in the world, he boasted. David looked at the knife. He wished he had one like it, but he kissed his teeth and said, Chuck, that is not a good knife. That is an old tin knife. You must be mad, Tony replied. This is a steel knife, man. Real steel. See the word steel on it there? David had always longed to have a knife like that, but his mother said that knives were not playthings. Look how sharp it is, said Tony. He took up a stick and cut it with the knife. Let me try, said David. Suddenly David smelled something. It was the rice burning. He dropped the stick and the knife and ran past Joy into the house. He turned off the stove and looked at the rice in the pot. It looked hard and dry. At the sides of the pot, it was getting brown. He felt frightened. He was sure his mother would be very angry when she saw it. Pour some water on it, said Tony. My sister does that when the rice dries out. Quickly, David poured some water on the rice. Slowly, the whole pot of rice turned brown. Now look at that, said David. Well, that is what I always see my sister do. Your sister doesn't know anything, said David. Your sister, and then David thought about his own sister. He had forgotten about Joy. He looked around. Where is Joy? He asked Tony. I don't know, replied Tony. I wasn't watching her. Then the two boys heard a loud cry. They rushed out of the house. Joy was in the yard and she was holding the stick and the knife. Blood was running from her finger and she was bawling. Why, Joy, shouted David. What happened? Tony took one look and picked up his knife. Your mother is going to skin you, he said. See you another time. And as fast as he could, he ran out the gate. David picked up Joy. He washed off the finger and looked at it. It did not look too bad, but he knew he was still in trouble. When David's mother came back, the first thing she saw was Joy's finger. What happened? She shouted. How did Joy get this cut? She picked up Joy and went into the house. David did not follow her. Then she saw the rice. What happened to the rice? She called out. You let it burn. What is wrong with you, boy? Just then, David's father came home. What happened? He asked. David's mother told him in a loud voice. Well, he said quietly, David was wrong. If he was watching Joy, she would not have got this cut. But it is not really safe to leave Joy alone with David for long. He is not old enough yet. We have to be more careful. We are lucky that nothing more happened. David's mother did not say anything. Then his father came outside to David. How did all this happen? David told him. His father thought for a while. Then he said, David, 
you know that a knife is not a plaything. You are getting older now. You have to learn to help your mother and me. If you are watching your sister, you have to be careful. Go and tell your mother you are sorry. I'm sorry, Mama, said David. Next time, I will be more careful. David's mother was vexed, but she saw that he was sorry. Maybe your father is right, she replied. I need to be more careful also. Then she gave him a piece of pudding. See, Mrs. Jones sent back a piece of potato pudding for you. The end. Well, I hope you like the story. As we know, May is Child's Month, so make some extra time for your child. And remember, the children are our future. We must love, protect, and support them as much as we can all the time. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.